it's Will and Rich here from Blizzard once again. And uh, today we're giving you a quick tour of the features and specs on the Novastar VX1000 uh, video processor. Look at this beauty. When you want it all. Yeah, man. That is, I do. I there it. it is. First time in my life. You're telling me this is all. Yeah, it's a brand new processor from Novastar. Mm -hmm. uh, meant to kind of bridge the gap between your... Uh, higher echelon processors mm. that do multiple inputs and all this crazy yeah. processing. And then, you know, the, the tried and true VX series. So it is in the VX series, but it's a kind of a step in between. Yeah. Uh, Cause you well, it's do- It's definitely the most capable of all the VX processors. There right? you go. Yeah. yeah. And it's got some stuff that actually, I mean, I had, that doesn't exist in, uh, anywhere else in the Novastar catalog either, um, which we'll get to in a, little, in a little while. But yeah, they, uh, it's got a little bit uh, redesigned front panel, very sleek. I say um, uh, one of those things that it has that uh, the other processors don't is it's got the built-in fiber converters. It's got dual 10G uh, SFP plus ports on the back, and you can use them as inputs or outputs. That's right. pretty sweet. Uh, it's also super useful because uh, this processor does 6.5 million pixels, and uh, it does it over either t up to 10 uh, RJ45 Ethernet ports on the back or those 10G uh, SFP plus ports. And uh, there's also a HDMI 1.3 monitor out on the back of this. I know because I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Right. It's well, right it's there. also has your layers, your three layers, yeah. which uh, are 4K by 1K, by the way. Wow. Yeah, that's 60 big. hertz, which is good. Yeah. The thing that blows me away is the amount of uh, resolution yeah. it can do. It's like 10,000 by yeah. 8,000 something. Although I don't know... Uh, any 10k by 8k content but no. hey it'll do it but like you said with the three layers you could have th like up to three giant gigantic walls all doing 4k at the same time Correct. over one processor that's crazy uh also like good time to mention the price so the vx series starts out at uh 1099 the vx4 sn mm -hmm. and then uh the uh vx6 s is 1888 that's correct and this one's uh 2249 only 2249 but it can do three times the pixels as the VX4S and yeah, VX4S. And if you're looking for a, a you know, a 4K input yeah. uh, this is... on your processor, this will be the first mm -hmm. one you can get. Yep. That And everything we've said, but it also will take a 4K and it's 2249. Yeah, HDMI 1.4 uh, and sports uh, 4K at 60, up to 60 hertz and also the uh, loop output uh, for the HDMI at 1.4. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's got, uh, aside from that, it's got 3G SDI and it has Genlock, which uh, is a first. That is correct. Yeah, it's pretty important stuff. Um, it's got a DVI input uh, and a loop. And it has, uh, like I mentioned, the uh, SFP plus uh, 10G optical ports uh, that you can use as a video in uh, or uh, to drive the wall. And so built-in fiber converter takes one piece of gear out. Um, oh, uh, another thing, super cool. Um, so this is a single frame latency. So that's correct. That's crazy. I mean, we should probably go and try this out and play some video games. Well, and uh, the Genlock feature you mentioned yeah, in passing there is is, is huge. Yeah. It's you know very important, especially mm -hmm. uh, you know House of Worship where you're filming mm -hmm. or Anya. Uh, the wall will be in the shot. Yeah. And you know everybody who's tried that, they know the problems associated <laughs> with that. Uh, this will help that right out the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, multi camera setups uh, anywhere. You know any professional video application, it's going to be beneficial. Um, and again, at the very minimum, it's just reducing the amount of external gear that you need to have in your signal chain, which is always a nice thing. Yeah. The uh, all-in-one. Yeah. <laughs> Taking that to a new level, hey? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, just, uh, you know, some of the things are standard with Novastar. Obviously, the product is uh, extremely well-built, well-engineered, and uh, we support it all right here in Wisconsin. Um, and uh, bears mentioning that uh, we're the uh, one of the largest, not the largest, uh, Novastar distributor in the entire uh, in the entire United States, and I happen to be able to tell you pretty definitively, we have more Novastar products in stock than anybody. That's true. Yeah. So um, if if you need it, chances are we've got it, and if we don't, we'll be getting it very very shortly. Um, in terms of the ways you can get in contact, you can visit us on the website blizzardpro.com. You can buy all the stuff right on the website. You can email Rich. Ships free. Yeah. Oh, very nice. How about that? Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, we've got most of it in stock. And if you have any questions, again, same contact methods apply. I will be happy to help. Uh, if you ever have an issue with any of this stuff, unlikely, but we're right here and we, uh, we fix stuff quick and get it turned around. I think that's about it. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll yep. talk to you again soon. Keep in mind, we keep it in stock, we ship it free, and we're here to help. So, stacking them deep and selling them cheap. I like it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah.